craftsmen's on how everything should be laid out. You If you're into low bearing fruit, like rednecks watching cable news, there's two differences between a backdrop and an object, and the main character is never uh, either of them, or else it would have been an inanimate object. So when laws of nature shouldn't be set in order to erase origins. And so there's like a fight where there's genuinity, even in things that are horrific. And, um, I think that's within doubt, uh, how everyone's searching for where they came from. And in terms of like, at first it was the Africans, and then we don't know how Chinese or Native Americans came about, but China made the first society and it was a school and it was really strict. And so in order for them to have that heirloom over everyone, it's to, uh, show that that's actually as good as we know in Darwin evolution There's a giant gap where no one knows where the predecessors originated, but if you keep erasing origins uh, That's one battle like that will never be found again because only winners write the history books wires that are crossing an entire grid that has all these scratch marks on it like this and then you have a circuit blast, such as a short fuse, that could make a signal that wasn't supposed to, and have an envelope. So the shadow is now looking as though it were a bright spot. If it's condensed, all these shadows could make a circle. And if it isn't clear as, as night and day, and if it isn't clear as night and day, and no one knows the difference of the two, you're able to pass a projection as a reality. To uphold the rules of the land, uh, and then the uphold was actually a downward spiral. What this could entail is uh, making it impossible to not get turned into a tyrant. <laughs> The markets were never meant to be fair. Neither does fair trading and non-profit organizations. But to level the playing field and getting a leg up on the competition gets redefined if the fat cats have small potatoes and keeping all the big fish to fry because they have got bigger fish to fry. Uh, to reiterate, what a lockdown does to mom and pop shops is it shuts them down. And then the organizations that are funded by the federal government are able to keep open. I'm, I'm not hating the player, I'm hating the game where the uh, substantial amount for them to be open means that they have a miracle product such that would be of the nutrients big enough to cure anything. In the case of the fat cats, well, it's the entire market, especially when there aren't any mom and pop shops open because they weren't essential. So even the products that they have, what not just nutrient-based, if they have a different product that isn't something you consume, but something you absorb, such as information, and what amount that they keep open is something that should be proven that it's worthy to be even if you're working from home. Because when it comes to a stabilizer and an equalizer, adding more pressure is going to make for that equalization to occur quicker. But at what dismay, what goes up must come down. So in order to simplify complexion, you have to know the ramifications. And so to reiterate what an infraction is, is extremely important. And then making things like protractors and uh, compasses, those small two Chinese sticks that are metal and weigh out degrees. You know, to what degree is a imperative question, especially if there is a zero ground that has 
implications of you going six feet underground if you don't follow them, which is more realistic uh, that I've seen in a lockdown than my entire life. If uh, what is non-essential to being what is essential is up in the grabs and uh, then so is everything that is a regulation because the regulations in a lockdown are vastly different than something that anyone ever knew. And so the fact that that was being used to um, make people used to is also an endangerment. Equivalently, that would be as if like mom and pop shops ran Wall Street. What that would look like is a product of such precision that it would be an actual value. But like it's with that precision of handling accuracies that the um, substantial propagations of projection would say that the actuaries are that literal. Just there's no scaling of way to gauge if it is or isn't current. Diagnosis and therapeutics in the olden days, they would do some work and then with on an engine, hit it with the hammer a few times and then shut the hood and it would work. Nowadays, the one fix all problem is no more intricate than before. It's just with a mRNA technology. However, the implications of that would fix everything is highly controversial. And so for asking for help, no one's going to if everyone thinks that there's no need for, and that's a turning point in what life actually is. Remember in the airports where they used to have um, the baby milking stations for breastfeeding and that was such a big deal because it was edgy and indecent exposure got redefined. But then and to what point is it clean? Would you go so far to eat lunch inside of a breast milking area? Is that something that you should feel safe in doing? If it was spot clean as anyone after they leave a room wiping off all the surfaces should be, it should be ideally that way. But we all know that it isn't. It's with that cause that I think other clauses are being put forth but it isn't actual. And just look how much theatrics this is. This is why in curtains, uh, they always have the curtain have two drapes on either end of the stage. Those two drapes on the either end of the stage is the illusion once the curtain rises, it's like still there and it really adds to it uh, because it'll come down and it'll look complete with both borders on either end because the drapes were there the whole time. It's uh, like why pictures have um, picture frames. It just really adds to it, but um, that's why subliminal and peripheral visions are actually like real legitimacies of anything because they're always there. But since they're secondary, they don't seem that influential, but it's the secondary thing that is what a quantum jump is but no one knows in science how deep that actually is encumbering existence as a plane. So it kind of gets swept under the rug, but then skeletons get pulled out of the closet once someone gets their hand caught in the cookie jar, like the re release of a material that is going into your body, no different than a rape victim. And I'm not trying to be crude, and I'm trying to be as family friendly as possible, but it's the difference between being put in a sticky situation and being stuck. They're both negative and they both are uh, physically similar. However, it can be vastly different. Jaywalking is a crime, but then jaywalking can lead to vehicular slaughter. But the person who does that might not even be the person who is the victim and the victim isn't caught because they're being wrongly labeled. But like for the betterment of everyone, but what does that even mean? Stalking, I know how it feels like to be taken advantage of, but what does that even mean? How about if there's a genome that gets put in you from something that isn't even yours? That's the definition of an infractionment.
I know what stalking leads to putting a life at risk and how endangering is that, but would you gamble an entire species in order to make sure that anything bad doesn't happen? One casualty is horrific, but a thousand is just a, a statistic. This is what I found on the ground. And this is who it's for. Now by reading that, had I committed a crime of stalking, and especially if it was a QR code, would that be even more so? How big of an influence does the ethics board have on an every day-to-day -day commerce opinion if you're just going to complain to the receptionist or call agent and then you write a complaint, if it's meaningless, that would be one way that a stalker would be able to have a go at an entire databases and you not even know.